Hey guys, it's me Chris and Today we're back with another reaction. So today I'm reacting to Camila Cabello. I am super excited to react to this. This is something I'm very excited to because Camila Cabello always has bops. Y'all know this. She might be a little bit problematic in some ways, but she still has bops. And it'd be kind of weird for me not to react to one of her albums when all her past albums have had songs that really shape a time period for me. And that's what this album is. That's what this channel is about. So yeah, but disclaimer. AC is on, that's what the loud noise you hear. It's hot in California, my saying, I always say that. But it is, and I'm not trying to sacrifice me looking sweaty as fuck on this channel for a video, no. Y'all, y'all sacrifice the sound, but, and y'all can probably hear it anyway, so. Sorry, y'all, but that's gonna happen. So they're gonna be listening to Familia, and Let's see what this is about. So try number one familia. Nothing else to say. Let's get into it. Oh, we love a fan influence. I know that's right. Try number two is uh, Celia. I kind of sneak took a sneak peek of the, the song and I could tell that we're gonna get like a Spanish influence album, which we're here for. We love. Oh, okay, Camila. I see you. Oh. Oh, he's talking about uh. Hold on. I think she's talking about uh. Phoenix call them uh. Gringo. If y'all don't know the term, look it up. And I'm not gonna give y'all a Spanish lesson. Y la salsa dice que ya no la. That's what's kind of making me just think that's what it's about. So yeah. I'm like sweating, y'all. I'm so sorry. Hey. Oh, oh, we're done. Okay, cute, cute song. Actually, something I would I wouldn't mind listening to again. Pet number three, Psycho Freak featuring Willow. Let's see what this is about. I mean, y'all want me to try to Willow? Let me know. Ooh. Oh. Serious. Oh. Well, that first verse already. It's got it. If the, let me talk about it. On Instagram, talking about I'm healed, worrying about it. I still got sex appeal. I don't trust the way I feel. Camila, not you slaying. Hello, it's not uh, not okay. I love Willow's verse, honestly. It, it honestly really tied in with Camila. There was a point where I didn't realize who was who. Maybe because of AC, but you know. And I'm like a psycho freak sometimes. Trying to get connected, no Wi Fi. I like this one. I think this is the first one I'm going to actually save because I actually relate to the lyrics and it's a bop. And Willow is really good. Okay, good for her. Okay, Willow, I see you. Okay. We love. Chat number four, Bam Bam, featuring Ed Sheeran. Y'all hate Ed Sheeran. I'm not first being in that right now. No. Mmm. Mmm. I wonder why people like this one. Mmm. Mmm. Anyways. Oh, I love the lyrics. And why is Ed Sheeran on this? Ed Sheeran, isn't Ed Sheeran like on a happy relationship? Please. She's saying that in Spanish because that's how like a lot of our, I guess, not traditional families would like be like. Ooh, I like this. If you're gonna do repeated sounds, do it like this. Do it like how Hispanics do it because we know how to fucking do. Not like some other people do it. Okay, and so, look, 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 look. Let me let me say something real quick. It's weird to me that you're gonna get in the first half of Camila talking about her breakup, and it's Tear talking about how his relationship kept them together and how it was hard work, but they stayed together through it. Why? Why are they in the same song? I 
I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying like, you're hurting me either way. So you know what? If the point of the song was for me to get hurt, you're both doing that, okay? Thank you very much. I mean, that's accurate. Giving me doesn't kill me vibes. Like, Kelly Park's man and Casey Mustard. Oh, I'm gonna bop out for this later. Hello. I'm not, I'm not, not, I'm sure translating it for her. Also giving me, um, when the, when the world is at war, you just can't dance in. Vibes. So, that's all. I'm the bop. It is. Will listen to it again? I don't know. I feel like I might. I think I will. Yeah, it's a, it's a bop. It's a bop and a half. Okay. <laughs> After number five, La Buena Vida. Ooh. This is a more storytelling song, I feel like. Period. Can't relate. Ooh. This is kind of a bop, too. Hello. Not this bird, not the verse attacking me. Hello. Ooh. I was like so enchanted in this bridge outro thing that I didn't even know was happening. That's offensive. The good life, where is it at? That's what the translation is. Honestly, she's doing a real god of god. I mean, I need that right now. I need it. I need him right now. But, um, <laughs> I, I, I do. Oh my god, my. Words, hello, words. Does that song really fuck me up that much? Hello. I forgot what I was gonna say. Help, why? I just forgot what I was going to say. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. She does a good job of blending her culture, which is Hispanic, she's from Cuba, um, or modern twist. I like this one. Chat number six, quiet. Oh, vocals. This is more traditional now. Traditional Americanized pop. Oh, I love that. Oh. Well, <laughs> really. I love that part. So this is about this person makes her so nervous, but when it's time to actually be serious and like there, the peace. Which is what a relationship should be. You should feel like getting about it. The one thing that really kind of irks me, in a way, is people say like, Oh, you shouldn't get butterflies because that's a sign of danger. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, you should feel kind of, like, not nervous, I should, I mean, how to, flustered. There we go, that's the word, flustered. You should feel kind of flustered when you, when, when you see someone you, you feel like you're going to like, or when you're with someone you like. It's not always going to be like you are going to be like, just like at home, no, if you like someone, you're gonna feel like things. So that's one thing. Um, but but who, who am I to talk? I'm not, I've never been in a relationship my entire life. Probably won't be for years, so you know what? I, I'm gonna shut up. We, we, we wish to have this. We wish to do it. number seven, boys don't cry. I have thought. I'm not judging them, I'm not judging the thing by the cover. I'm just, I have thoughts from other things, I should just say. <laughs> This is what I don't like about men. <laughs> I don't want to bring up her ex because I don't feel like doing that. Like, that's not my intention, but I feel like I have to. Oh, I don't want to bring- I'm not going to bring it up, but y'all know, this certain artist talked about his struggles with that. So, that's all I'm going to say. He was more vocal about his emotions than usually other men are. Okay, that trumpet. I had Santa's trumpet. And that's why there is some issue- Okay, I have the- I have- I have thoughts. I have things to say. Things to say. That lyric is the most offensive fucking thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. It's just drama turned to armor. That is the most offensive fucking lyric I have ever fucking heard in my entire fucking life. I am. Triggered. I am triggered. Because it's true. Anyways. Next. Oh, there's a lot going on. Okay, my thoughts is that this. Y'all know 
I'm very vocal about talking to my celebrity on this channel and how, you know, it's the most disgusting and worst thing that society has placed upon men. It's like kind of in like the, it's like the underlying theme of why we're now talking about this now, but it's um, how toxic masculinity was kind of made to seem like the cool guy, the cool, macho, straight-esque looking guy. And that's what the purpose was for. It was to make women be attracted to men because they seem strong. And while mas masculinity embodies strong energy which is attracted to females, females are also attracted to emotional vulnerability, which is the complete opposite of masculinity. The complete opposite. So, in turn, toxic masculinity is actually worsening relationships. It really, it, it's like, it's really, I feel like toxic masculinity can actually damage and break a relationship. Because if you are truly not going to be open about your feelings because you're afraid of seem, of feeling like a pussy, which is also a bad term to use because like, females get birth what do balls do but like if you're gonna have if, if, if you're afraid of being called names like it's just no you're not gonna be called names by your significant other by your goodness family. and you do you better get the fuck out <laughs> I'm just, you know but just be open it's a it's okay to be open maybe you know like maybe you're maybe you're not the emotional like type of female is but that's not you you know just because you're gonna show your emotions does not mean you're gonna convert into something you don't want to be. You know, you're, you're you're not gonna convert into the man that a girl is not attracted to anymore. You're just gonna be more open. And you're never gonna be more attracted to you. That's that's just the tea. Y'all, I'm done. Like I'm done. Y'all, y'all need to talk about your emotions more because if y'all don't, it's just gonna be a disaster and it's not gonna be chapter number eight. Hasta los dientes. Which means, the saying is weird, it's like literally it means until the teeth. That's what it literally means. But like in an actual like way that it makes sense, it means like up, 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 up to the teeth. Like all the way up to the teeth, like even the teeth. That's what it kind of means, you know? I didn't even say that to you all. But this is featuring Maria Becerra, Gara? I think it's Becerra. I think it's Becerra. Yeah. Curtain. Oh! The tease? Wait, is this Maria? I think it is her. Is it? I'm so confused who is who. <laughs> Not me. I don't know that cut off. I'm sorry y'all, but this is a but I've been singing, so it's probably a good thing I cut off. Oh! I'm still confused if that was Maria or not. Is she coming in right now? I'm so confused right now. Oh. I think that is her. Okay, that is her. Okay. I think it... There's a... <laughs> okay. I'm a mess, y'all. I'm sorry. My drilling ass up was Accurate. It's her. It's her. It hurts up the teeth. That was kind of a bop. It kind of was a bop. I kind of really enjoyed that. Not gonna lie. Chat number nine, no doubt. Oh! Imagine. My trust issues could never. <laughs> oh! Oh! I'm sorry, I'm done. I'm out. If I don't, okay, I need to bop out, but if I don't bop out, I'm gonna cry, and that's not what we're here for. That's kind of a bop because I related to it. So, um, that's fun, and the course is actually really good too, but like, that second verse is not okay. That second verse was offensive. I'm sorry. She was offending. What's the other song she offended me on? She offended me on Quiet with that one lyric about trauma being armor. I, <laughs> that's still offensive. I can't believe she said that. That's not funny. It's not funny, it is, but it's not, okay? 
I'm getting fucking chills now. This AC is strong. But it's hot. If I turn it off, I'm gonna be sweating my ass off. So I'd rather be fucking cold than fucking hot. Okay, yeah. yeah. Which is weird because I love the heat. But I like the heat because I can be outside and have shorts on. Not when I'm here sweating my fucking brains out. Chat number 10, don't go again. Sounds very familiar to me. Like this, like, thing. Oh. I mean, oh my, oh my, it's, it's, it's cute. This one's giving me, my, my. Come to mama. She loves her, she loves a man's head, hands in her, in her hair. Um, good for you. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Okay. That one's good, I, that one was good. I just need a little more time for it, I think. But it was a bop. It was a bop, but I don't know. No. I don't know. I know I'm a reaction channel, but I'm a reaction. Now, if number 11, Lola featuring Yo Duel. Not all too well, no do well. Storytelling song. Oh. That's so sad. This, this song is probably a real song on this album. And speak like you're silent. I think this is about immigrating to America and realizing it's not all it's meant to be. And end up living somewhere where it's not good. I think that's all you can afford. I love a storytelling song. We do we, we love a story song and about something real, something that's going on. We, we need to kind of talk about how people are given this false idea to come to America and they're going to be given everything when in reality it's not that. You're basically on your own. You're going to have to work hard. Everyone else has to work hard as well. You know, that's what the truth is. And working hard sometimes is not going to give you anything. You have to be really lucky. So it's hard. You know, there are opportunities and resources here, but at the same time, we're not going to get into it. We're not going to get into it. Because if we get into it, we're gonna, I'm going to piss someone off. So, yeah, let's not do that. Chat number 12 with the last track on the album, Everyone at This Party. Not a fucking guitar slow song about a party. Felt. But, we have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Giving me a good place vibe with that guitar by a dummy, Lovato. Offensive last lyric. What I'm saying. I like this song actually. Probably one of my favorites. Cause it's really, you can apply this to either someone like an ex that you don't want to see but also do or also a crush who you want to see but you always are not there together that that's what i like about this song because i can relate it to any situation for her we know what that two years is about we know but yeah i like it actually it was very sweet i like the song let's do it again but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please comment, share, and subscribe. It'd mean a lot if you shared it with people you know uh, or subscribe. I hope someone out there gets a, gets their day raised by whatever I have to say, which is kind of crazy, but nonetheless, I'm very grateful. But thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!